Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to install and configure the Azure Active Directory Connect Health Agent for on-premises Active Directory domain services. Azure AD Connect Health is a feature that helps you monitor and gain insights into your on-premises identity infrastructure and the synchronization services. We can also monitor on-premises domain health using Azure AD Connect Health for Active Directory Domain Services, a critical element to the functionality of the total identity solution. When you install the Azure AD Connect tool on your server, at the same time, Azure AD Connect Health Agent for Azure Active Directory Sync is installed. So you don't need to install that agent separately it is already installed and running. But Azure Active Directory Connect Health Agent for ADDS and ADFS is not installed. If you want, you can install it separately as per your organization's requirement. Remember, you will need an Azure Active Directory Premium License to use Azure Active Directory Connect Health Agent for Active Directory Domain Services. The health agent setup gets installed on each of your domain controllers and provides health and alerting via Azure AD Connect Health. Sign into the Azure AD portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. Under Manage, Click on Azure AD Connect. On Azure AD Connect page, scroll down to Health and Analytics. Click on Azure AD Connect Health link. From here, we can see health and alerting for Azure AD Connect Sync, ADFS and ADDS. Under Azure Active Directory Connect Sync, click on Sync Errors. If you have any Azure Active Directory Connect Sync related error, those will be listed here. The error will be categorized in different types, so you can have an idea that what kind of errors you have. We are not using ADFS in our setup, so I'm going to skip that part. Under Active Directory Domain Services, click on ADDS Services. We can see no results message since it is not configured yet. Click on Quick Start. Under Get Tools, we can see the links to download the health agents. Let's copy the link to download the health agent for ADDS. Right click on it and select Copy Link. Let's jump to our domain controller. This is our domain controller named WS2K22-TC01 for msfsurat.local domain. On this domain controller, we want to install Azure AD Connect Health Agent for Active Directory Domain Services. This is going to be two-step process. In the first step, we will download and install Azure AD Connect Health Agent for ADDS on our domain controller. In the second step, we will register the health agent for ADDS in our Azure Active Directory. So first, let's download and install Azure AD Connect Health Agent for ADDS. Open Microsoft Edge Web Browser. Paste the website link which we have copied from Azure AD Admin Center. Let's select Paste and Go. This will start downloading the setup. Click on Download Folder. Here we can see the setup file named Eddy Health ADDS Agent Setup. To start the agent installation, double click on the setup file that you have downloaded. In the first window, select Install. The installation process will take few seconds to complete it. Now the first part is completed. The agent has been successfully installed on our server. Now we need to configure it. For that, click on Configure Now.
it will open a windows powershell and it will ask us to sign into microsoft azure active directory let's enter the username of our global administrator which is mwadmin at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com click next enter user password and click on sign in after you sign in powershell continues and then we have a message about that registration so currently the azure ad connect health agent is registering in our azure active directory we can see the message starting agent services we can see the confirmation message agent registration completed successfully so the configuration part is also completed if you want you can close the powershell let me close it and let's open services.msc console to verify that the agent is installed look for two services on the domain controller one is azure ad connect health adds inside service and second is azure ad connect health adds monitoring service and that we can see here we have two services so we can see the both services are up and running with automatic startup type okay we can confirm that startup type is automatic delayed start now let's go back to azure ad admin center web interface so the installation and configuration of azure ad connect health agent for adds is completed now we want to see that how it will look in azure active directory connect to health first i'm going to refresh the web page under active directory domain services click on adds services we can see service name msfsurat.local and we can also see the status healthy if you have any error or alert the status will change to unhealthy click on msfsurat.local service name uh we are seeing message if the server were recently registered it may take a few hours for the configuration data to be available so i think we need to wait little longer and then after we will have some information so i'll pause the video recording and when i have something i'll resume it again after waiting for around 20 minutes now we have data about our on premises active directory domain services to see that let's click on msfsurat.local service name Here we can see basic information about our on-premises Active Directory. We can see information about forest name with functional level, which is msfsuda.local, and uh, we can see forest functional level, which is Windows 2016 forest. We can also see information about current domain naming master and schema master FSMO role owner. Click on domains. We have one domains in our Active Directory forest. and that is our msfsurat.local domain here you will see the list of all domain controllers of your domain with fsmo role information uh, schema master domain naming master pdc emulator rid master and infrastructure master this domain controller is currently stored in default first site name active directory site the status is healthy and we don't have any active alerts domain controller type is a global catalog if you have multiple domain controllers in your uh, active directory domain those all domain controllers will be listed here and if any alert or error is there that you can see here okay again i'm going to click on msfsuda.local service name also it will show any replication issues and other dc related problems for you to remediate and that will be listed here Since we have only one domain controller in our active directory domain we don't see any information about replication status we can see health and monitoring reports on some basics such as ldap bind ntlm and kerberos authentication per seconds in last 24 hours here we can see kerberos authentication per second from the last 24 hours 
we can see information here same goes for ntlm authentication uh, we are not using it so it is zero and then we have a ldap successful binds per seconds from the last 24 hours you can also configure email alerts so you know when a problem is detected rather than relying on checking the health page to notice something manually azure ad connect health agent for active directory domain services working fine in our taste environment and that concludes the video on how to install and configure the azure active directory connect health agent for on premises active directory domain services thank you all for watching this video have a nice day